To see or change the different input field types, just go to Forms and either create a new form here or click Edit by a form you already created. And that's what I'm going to do. Here is a form I created a couple of days ago. And here is the design. here are the design elements. And here are the settings of the form. But what we want to do is click the little box that has the input field. Click it here. And here we could add new fields, of course. Like, let's say, you know, phone number, city, country. These are all the fields you have in your subscribers area where you have the fields area that is all in your subscribers area. So these are all the fields you have, right? And you can have another field called message or something where your subscriber has to put in something longer. Uh, I'm just going to use the, the last name field for that this time, but let's try that out. This is the field type here. And if you put in text area, then you can have a bigger text area for your subscriber. If he or she is writing something, what they could do is just lengthen this out and it's much easier for them to see what they're writing, if, if that's of course needed. Uh, another thing they could do is instead of having a text area, they can have a drop down. For example, if you want um, something like, let's go back to fields. I have this pet field I created. I, I like using this example. And you can have, for example, dog, cat, bird, right? And the question could be, you know, what's your pet? What kind of pet do you have? Or something similar to that. And then what you could do is also see the drop down is here. They can just choose when, when they subscribe. They just put in the, the pet they, they own. Instead of a drop down, you can have radio buttons. In this case, they can only choose one pet. Actually, in the drop down, they can also choose one only. And in the checkbox, they're able to choose different types of pets. So that's that. And another cool input field type is if you go to fields, let's say, if you want country, right? Because you, there are different names for different countries. And some, some people um, have a shorter version of their name uh, of a country they live in. Uh, for example, some people say Holland, others say the Netherlands, right? And you can have different types of different people can put in different names but actually they're talking about the same country and that can get complicated so instead of having them inputting their country what you could do is go to the field type here and use world countries and this is pretty cool because when you, you know, save the changes they click the drop down and they just choose their country so those are a couple of different field types we have available to you. Of course, you can add more fields and more fields and more fields. You don't want to add too much because um, the more people have to input, the, the less it's likely for them to actually subscribe. But what some people do is if they have a big form, if they're um, generating leads and very like high paid, high paying clients, uh, sometimes what they tend to do is actually do create bigger forms because it's like a little roadblock. They're, they're filtering their clients so that they're only working with their clients that they really, really want to work with. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a wonderful day. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.